Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all uh, my latest content. And if you want to reach out to me to either ask me questions or you want to connect with me to get on a call, then there's a number of ways you can do that. Um, but visit the description below this video. That is going to be the best way that you and me can connect uh, and I can answer any questions and I can see if I can help you to grow and scale your soccer coaching business. So in today's video, I want to talk about the top six soccer coaching business questions to ask clients on a sales call so you can sell out your training sessions. Now, a common problem a lot of soccer coaches have in this industry is that when they get on a sales call, with a prospect they don't know the questions to ask they don't know what to say to the prospect they don't know how to transition that prospect from a call a 15 minute call into an evaluation session and then how to go from evaluation session to closing them into becoming an actual uh, paying client so a lot of the time coaches who reach out to me ask me a lot of questions about the sales process. They ask me a lot of questions about, Leo, I'm struggling to, to close clients. I'm struggling to, to, to present myself over a sales call. So what I want to do with you today is I want to share with you six questions that when I speak to parents over a call in my soccer coaching business, these are the six very simple questions that I ask parents. Now, my process since I started in 2018 has changed a lot from the process I have now. Before, I used to ask about 12 questions over, over the, the sales call. Now, I've diluted that into only asking six specific questions so I can get a diagnosis on what their child is struggling on, what they are looking for as a client, and if I can help them um, in my academy business. Okay, so if you have a look at the screen in front, right, I'm going to read out the question, these questions, and I'm going to explain a little bit about what each question is and why it's a good thing to ask them. Okay, now, for you as the viewer, as a coach watching, you're obviously watching because you want to learn. Feel free to take away these six questions, use them, try and implement them into your business. And if you're having success with them, the only thing I ask is that you reach out to me and let me know that it's working, right? If you've gone, you've tried it and it's not working, then reach out to me as well and tell me the reasons why it hasn't worked. OK, so the first one is when I'm on a call with a prospect, a parent that has shown interest in my soccer coaching business. Uh, the first question I ask them is I say to them, I miss Jones. So what will success look like for you if we work together? Okay. Now, that is a, a really direct and open question because it gets the parent to open up and pretty much tell you what they are looking for with their coaching, okay? So what they define as success. Success for parents, for each parent is different, right? Each individual is different. So what one parent will see as success, another parent won't see as success, okay? But if you have a sales process locked in, if you know who you want to work with, if you know that, right, these are the type of players that I want to attract into my program, you start off with this question, right? That's going to get them to open up and hopefully give you that information you need in order, in order to tick the boxes and see, right, this is someone that I would like to work with because they see success as this, right? So what will success look like for you if we work together? That could be a variety, of, a variety of, of things for different parents, right? Some parents might be looking for technical development. Some parents might be looking for skill development. 
Some parents might be looking to for someone to help their child with their confidence because during games, when they make mistakes, they lose their confidence very easily. Um, some might be looking just for more structured coaching. You know, some parents might not be getting the the good enough or, or enough quality coaching with their club team. They're just looking for something that's a little bit more professional and a little bit more structured. So that one will be something that you will learn after you've asked this first question, right? Now, the second question is, has your child worked with any other coach or private trainer? I like asking this because it then opens up to the question, right? So how did your experience go with this trainer? Okay. So if Mrs. Jones says, yeah, we worked with two other private trainers in the last um, 90 days, I can then say to them, right, okay, fantastic. So how is that? How did that experience go? Um, and how was your child uh, with the coach? And then that will give you more information to see, right, this is what their expectations are of you as a as a private trainer as a coach and these are the things they're looking for maybe their their other coach they mrs jones might turn around and say right the coach was always late and um, the sessions didn't really flow my son or daughter didn't really get the sessions and um, they seemed a little bit unorganized uh, they weren't really good or clear in their communication um so Get, asking this question gets you to then uh, follow up with a response to say, right, okay, perfect. I can see that you've worked with private another private coach in the last 90 days. How did this experience go? And how was your child uh, responsive to this, this coach? Right? Now, question three is, where would you like your child's game to be in the next 12 months from today? Okay. This is a fantastic one because it gets it gets parents to really think about, right, if we're looking to make an investment with you, this is where we want our child to be in 12 months. And as you, as a coach, it gets you to think about, right, parents are investing money into my coaching. This is their expectation. And this is where they see their journey going with me. Okay. Now, why I like to ask that question is because if they say, right, my child is currently on the B team uh, in the next 12 months, come up, come the next tryout next season, we'd like them to then get into the A team so they can then push on to potentially play at the high school level. So that already in my mind gives me a journey, right? This is the journey we're going to take when your child joins our program and they stay committed. Okay, they, this is where they're currently at. If we do this, this, and this, this is where we're going to get to. And then hopefully at the next tryout in 12 months from today, we can then push them to get into the A team and achieve their goals. Okay, but it's a great way for parents to think about, actually think about where they envision their child being in the next uh, 12 months. The fourth one is how are you looking to achieve your child's uh, goals right so this this might be a, a little bit of a confusing one for the parents but again you're getting parents to think about what and why they're making these decisions of looking for you for coaching okay so how are you looking to achieve your child's goal parents might respond to right we're looking for a private trainer because the club club coaching isn't great and we just feel like we need someone that has a little bit more experience is a little bit more professional and can work with my child uh, personally on specific areas of the game, which at the club level is is not possible. OK, so how are you looking to achieve your your child's goals? Well, we're looking to invest into a private coach so that my child can get this, this and this done so they can achieve their goal in the next 12 months okay so again you're, you're asking really specific questions and you're getting parents to think about why they're doing what they're doing okay uh, question five tell me about tell me what 
do you feel is your next step? Okay, now this might, again, be a, a, bit, a bit of a weird question, but it gets parents to think about, okay, right, we've had this call, I've answered your questions, I feel like the next step is now for us to commit to your program or to now invest into a private coach, okay? Because when you get people to actually think about what they're saying and you ask specific questions, right, it gets people to then think about, right, okay, the next step is we need to now find someone that can help my child to get to where they want to go, okay? And hopefully the parent sees you as that professional. They see you as that coach to help them to get their child to the next level. Um, but I always like to ask this question because it, it gets them to think about, right, what are our next steps? Are we going to continue to shop around and find the cheapest private coach? Or are we now going to commit to someone who is, you know, asked really good questions, expressed an interest into my child? And are we then going to now ask them, okay, right, do you guys offer a free taster session or do you guys offer an evaluation session? Or what is the process on getting my child registered for your program? Okay, so that is the next step that we want the client to take uh, with you. And the sixth one is how did you learn about us, right? This is going to give you great information because it's going to see, to help you to see what marketing channels are working in your business. So if parents found you on Facebook, then you're going to see that, right, my Facebook page is doing really well. Parents are finding me. Parents are taking action. They, they're getting on calls. Did they find me on Instagram, right? Is my content working with my audience? Are parents then, you know, are they finding my content and applying for my program? Or did they find you through SEO? Maybe they typed in on Google, private coach in soccer, in whichever city you're in and your name popped up. That means that marketing channel is doing really well. Okay, so I always, always, always like to finish our conversation with how did you learn about us? Because it might have been through a referral, someone already in your program that has referred them to you. Okay, that is a great way, again, to start building a referral program into your business. Was it through YouTube? Was it through Instagram? Was it through LinkedIn? Was it through Facebook? Okay. What was the channel or marketing channel that they found you on that has led us to get on this call together today? And what I like to see is that, right, if it's working, we continue to do that and we continue to grow it. Okay. So if you need more help with this, reach out to me. Love to love for us to connect. Okay. And again, if you want to take these six questions, go and implement them into your business. I've got no problem with that. The only thing I ask is let me know how it goes, right? If you've implemented them or if you try them out and they've worked, send me a quick email or send me a message to my WhatsApp to say, right, I've used the strategy that you shared with me. It's worked. Bang. Okay. Uh, I always like hearing feedback about how my videos are helping coaches. So if you want to take them, go and implement them. I've got no problem with that, but just give me a little bit of feedback on if it's if they've worked or if they haven't worked and I'll be able to find a solution for you to take your coaching business to the next level. Okay, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.